Okay, so I should have stuck with my bias I had initially in one of the videos. I maybe I'll find it by this one. I'll find it eventually. Where I was uh, said I'm very biased for over here. Um, so this now with the video we have, we can. This has never been done before. Where we have video like this, it's always implosions, not a video from start to beginning. So what we have is uh, of this capacity. So this is that part that was pulled over explaining this direction that I kept doing this to. Um, I know my mouse is a little slow sometimes. When I'm moving my mouse, sometimes my uh, the lag between the, the connection of the mouse and my voice might mess up. I just realized that was someone's comment. They stated and they sent me to a moment in a video and I was like, yeah, yeah, I've got so I've got to figure out how to a little more slow with the mouse so I can tie my voice in with the mouse. Um, so let's go to see how far I was off with with my guessing. I call, From using this data down the far end, I called it undercutting. How I started talking about how this is undercutting. That means the floor is collapsed below it, below it, and then pulled it down. So I have a video here where I talk about that. Let's see if um, how that works. Oh, first, I, I, that was the video. Hold on. That was the video I'm talking about. Let's get that going. Telling because all this, its wall is staying put. Nothing's pulling on it to pull it over. Not a single slab is leaning, appears to present to lean against it. It's all from this side. So we can possibly think that maybe this connector started failing. So one of the videos I did talk about, that means it, it was here and it had to knock these off. So that's what, you know, I... I so uh, interesting. I had to knock it off from there, and we have the video of it knocking it off. Let's. Uh, so it comes from that direction and is shearing it off. And our undercutting is taking place already. We're already down here with the floor failing. Um, as you can see, this this cantilever is still here. See the whole thing shift. All two floors shift, and it's cantilevering right there it's still cantilevering so I didn't have luxury of this video but let's go here now and see if I explained it correctly about cantilevering undercutting on this side and that loaded the next one and the next one and the next one I so I talk about it loading from that side and loading the next one and the next one and the next one um, okay I call it undercutting my I've coined that for myself on the uh, on how the load pass failure on the other end as, w as you look at the videos that means it's uh below sections fall below sections fall so I'm referring to the lower section fall it's undercutting creating this cantilever and there's our below sections we also have this directional change that was driving me crazy but now it's easily explainable these section accelerated higher at a greater force than the other one than this than the buckling on this end man this thing's something so we have this this mm, all right i'm at 32 37. we have this uh right here this was if you guys i gotta slow the mouse down i keep coming there saying you know it's a, it's a directional change and i couldn't quite get it mapped out now we see the video, it's mapped out because it did start down this direction and we don't know which floor yet. And it did the undercutting. And at this point, this corner is so developed so differently than the other corner, it was able to rip, this, these were stronger than the walls caving in. I think this wall system was stronger than the walls caving in, allowing it no choice but the shear. Then we get our shear action on these walls and still to get the dragging over this to the side, to this direction. Let's go back to the video. So we have it shearing off the connections at that point. 32, 37, I think I said. 27. But undercutting my, I've coined that for myself on the uh, on how the load pass failure on the other end as, as you look at the videos and that explains that rotation too this rotation here the directional change that means it's uh below sections fall 
and also explains this being torqued out in a way towards this direction. These are acting similar to each other, different different stresses, but nevertheless, rotation out, rotation back in, rotation down. Mm -hmm. It creates cantilevers. I call it undercutting it. Cantilevers, the cantilevers, cantilevers with the column and loads above it can't take the loads. They then deflect and fall down and possibly break cleanly free or deflect in this capacity. So I'm talking about the, the, here's our cantilevers now. Well, the cantilevers was already were already created, but we still have it's a weakened, you know, it's it's a it's a falling cantilever with two three decks on it. So you can see they move uniformly together. We have a deflection in this deck, though. This is at 14. So the deflection at deck, that deck at 15. So it held for a while on top of that one. So the can greater cantilever, I didn't see that coming. So it did hit the outside. This, this radius of this deck, I thought this was set back. Okay, this might have pulled in then. If it was set back, I wouldn't know how it would hit that. So these two shouldn't be meeting if this, this deck is a setback. But obviously, uh, this might have pulled in closer. This member in the, to this direction might have pulled in as it was, as it was uh, folding inwards. Hmm. That allowed it a greater chance to shear it with these two loads here. The two, de the two decks above, uh, 17 and 18, to be able to create a more clean shear. And well, we got a broken tip. Now the engulfing that cross member there. Now it's ripped off. Still got this thing intact. So that shows you it was uh, it's just it's distorting the uh, columns, distorting to a different um, configuration. I don't know if I call it buckling it or shearing through the base of here. I wouldn't know. Either either or. We get material sliding off, significant amount of materials sliding off. This wasn't where it initiated. And then we get this crack. Can't tell exactly where. So we come back to the video. and So the cantilever effect and my evaluation of cantilevering how this, this, this was... Uh, In other words, this one piece right here was game. undercut. This lost its legs. It became a cantilever. It then break, broke, dropped down to this decking. This decking, instead of supporting that that load, it sheared again from the uh, this. If we could find this steel here, you could find the shear how it sheared from here. Okay, so so I'm happy with this. I'm just disappointed in myself, really. You guys have no idea. I'm disappointed that I went away from my original bias. That I didn't stay with my instinct over here. That I allowed this, this sec, the video to come out to state that this was already existing. The data was conflicting. It just drove me crazy, especially this part here. This part. This was somewhat. But this part and that piece of steel just drove me crazy trying to make them tie in to work to work. I One video, I did talk about it going two directions. Uh, but I think I started it roughly about here, stating that it goes this way and that way. And... Maybe I can find it. I don't know. Nothing pulling on it to pull it over. Not a single slab is leaning. It appears or presents to lean against it. It's all from this side, so we can possibly think that maybe these connectors started failing and on this side, and that that's what I talk about. The connectors the failing on that side. One. So then here we have our undercutting on this our sheer failure off that wall, as I stated. That implying that this is the failing side. Um, well, that's the failing side. This is the hinge side. And there it is. And the shearing action now, the ripping and the bending of the metal and everything. Because it was just like that. Just like a big giant pair of scissors from this direction and that direction, two-directional. Able to cut its way through. Oh, huh. This is still outside. I'm sorry, guys, confuse you, but this is still, I still have this starting in the outside. Because if it started at the inside, over here, inside of the, by the crane side, well, then it would it would finish failing, right? And this would be, a, a, we would see a, um, a, um, 
a bow in this deck. If it failed on this, if it failed on this side, if it failed on that side, we would see it falling on this side by the crane side over here. Let's call it after this member one, two, three, out to here. Why not? We're getting the cantilever effect here. Now I can't, I can't say that this was the same as there, but maybe we can. We'll just reach a little bit, but we see, we see notice the uh, the cantilever. It's failing on the outside still. These are the connectors failing. That one, it's way down here. Even though we see it up here, it's way down there, causing an undercut for this to drop three floors. For it to drop three floors, we've already got undercut way down on this thing. Hmm. Okay. Let me keep going. So let's go again. It means it's uh, below sections fall. It creates cantilevers. I call it undercutting it. Cantilevers, the cantilever, cantilevers with the column and loads above it can't take the loads. They then deflect and fall down and possibly break cleanly free or deflect in this capacity. In other words, this one piece right here was undercut. It's lost its legs. It became a cantilever. It then break, broke, dropped down on this decking. This decking, instead of supporting that that load, it's sheared again from the uh, this. If we could find this steel here, you could find this shear how it's sheared from here. So uh, we don't see New Orleans. New Orleans could be implicated easy in this. All right. So then back to so again. There's our undercutting. It's already happened. These things are dropping down together. So so extrapolating from the other side. Like I said, this is some good data we'll never see. This is verification of that undercutting theory. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna load this up for you guys. You can say what you want with it. I'm uh, quite uh, quite beat up on it. Quite beat up. There we go. So, in conclusion, the undercutting theory appears to work out in evaluating some of these uh, broken sections and what you're looking at. Hmm. Again, we don't have this as a normal. Uh, you know, no shake table. Nobody's created this collapse before.